I don't think it's so much they're overwhelmed. I think they just, they have this thing that I'm the parent and you're the child. And kids need to know that we aren't smart about everything. I mean, I think when we try to come off that we know all the answers and that we're always right, we also set up a bad kind of unsafe environment. Um, some of my best times with my kids are, is when I said to them, ask them for help. And that's something I would say to parents is quit thinking that you can't come to your kids. It's real important sometimes for your kids. What do you think we should buy? What movie do you think we should see? Um, wow, I don't know the answer to this. What are your thoughts? You're really good at this, even when they're little. So quit trying to be the know-it-all and the expert. And, the, and, and I even do it on stage. You know, some speakers have to be the huge expert. Even on stage, I'll say, okay, guess what I did last week? Or you can't believe, here I teach all of you this, and I just did it, you know, a while back. So I think sometimes when we are a little more vulnerable, then... You know, when we set ourselves up for an expert, the minute we fail or the minute we do something wrong, everyone's real quick to uh, to judge us. Mm. But when we don't try to act like the big shot, and with kids, ask them, ask their opinion, get their involvement, make them think that they're an important voice in the family. Mm. Because raising children goes through the stages, right, of babies, mm -hmm. toddlers, mm -hmm. young children, pre-adolescents, mm -hmm. adolescents, mm -hmm. and, and everything changes at and each so stage. So do adults. I mean, even yes. as spouses, mm. they can be children one moment and be throwing a tantrum. They can be an adult mm. the next moment. But no, definitely kids have all of this. And, and adolescents and teenagers is a tough time. And so it's right so important that everything you do that first nine, ten years, you're setting such boundaries and the consequences and rules and, and, and how people should act and, and what's important as a family to do so that when they meet this hormone from you know who knows where and you're dealing with this person that sometimes you don't even know that there's been a lot and set there that can get you through those times and so there's an idea of perfection that people think that they should be these perfect know-it-all parents right uh, I, I, I bought a thing for my house where a, a, a 1950s advert with a woman telling a man with a subtitle uh, as, remember, as far as everyone knows, we're a normal family. Right, right. Uh, we want to always pretend we're a normal family, right? <laughs> but to teach the kids that yes. we're, we're not perfect. We're not we're perfect. Flawed. We're, we're flawed. And we fight sometimes, but we resolve it. And sometimes I'm going to say yes, and you're going to be right. And sometimes I'm going to say no, because I know more than you. You know, the more we allow for differences, and the more we allow for people to be right and wrong, the m less likely our kids are going to uh, uh, turn on us <laughs> at some point where we like now we don't even know what to do.